And we're back and this time I'm going to show you how to turn any image into a vector in Adobe Illustrator. I've used a very complex image to show you that it works with that as well. You should select it and you will find in the top menu automatically this image trace button with the drop down. But we're going to use the menu for that so go to window and image trace menu. There are advanced options but most importantly check the preview button and you can see depending on the size of the image it gives you a warning message. So I'll rasterize it first, go to object, rasterize. Color mode in this case should be RGB and I use the smallest, the screen resolution. Wider transparent doesn't make any difference here. I'll just click on OK. And now I can check the preview button and it automatically shows me what all of these presets are doing. So high fidelity photo gives us the best results. And if I click on outlines, you can see what kind of factors we've created here. Low is quicker, but gets rid of a lot of the details and you can add or subtract colors with the slider. And that's basically what the advanced options are doing as well. So just use them on a case by case basis and see which results you like best. We also have this shades option that turns the color slider into a shape. And we can use silhouettes, line art, all of that stuff. But in the top menu there are more. These presets adjust the sliders automatically so it's much quicker to access them with this top function. You can see it cycles through the presets and adds a little bit of an adjustment to sliders. There's also this eye icon. If you click on it and hold it, you can see the original image. And if you release it, it turns back to this vector result. If you then want to trace it, just go to Object, Image, Trace and Make. Let me close that window and if you select parts of it, it's still connected, so it's grouped. So go to Object and Ungroup and now you can get rid of parts of this vectorized result. And for example, isolate one of these figures. I've just used a low resolution result here as it's quickly processed. Obviously, if you want to have the best results, you should use a high resolution result. And all of these different parts of the image are now shapes that have different colors. You can select them individually, get rid of them with the delete key. You can also change the fill color of them so you can treat them like regular shapes. For example, I can make it all black or I can just change the bottom part and give it a different blue color, something like that. And this is how you can turn any image into a vector, even complex ones like this one in Adobe Illustrator. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.